Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the desert. Standing by in Glendale, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here we go. The final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. This will be fielded at the 8. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. They'll run with Snell to begin the drive. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. You've got to find a way to hold him under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20-point score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Here's Snell on third down. And this play comes to a halt at the 33. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. I mean, think about this now. Clinch the playoff spot. Offensive player of the week in week 16. I think he's going to keep going. I think he's going to keep firing away. I don't think they pulled back at all. Yeah, and everybody for them rounding into form right now. Now a shot downfield on the opening play is complete. Mahomes finding Hill for a big play. So from their own 20 all the way to the red zone now. A chance to capitalize on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Now on second and 13. Mahomes, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. In need of a conversion on third down. They had a big play to start the drive, not much sense. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This is caught, Watkins. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert? Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now Mahomes. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Credit the sack to Von Miller. How about right here? The difference between letting him score a touchdown versus holding him to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And on the first drive, three and out. Yeah, I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of the game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. It's been mentioned all week long about going out and getting him the rushing title. He'll see the ball, and he'll see it often. He'll buy some time right, and his throw is incomplete. Murray going to try to throw on third down. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, down at the 33. Murray now on first down. 
And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. He got sacked five times last week. They got to him here in the first quarter. And I would think that running the ball would be paramount here because it's a different team they're facing, but they watched the film as well. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he finds Seals Jones complete. When you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky that and he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now on second and 13. Mahomes, give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. At his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know? Make him make someone miss in the open field. Back to the air on second down. It's Mahomes taking a deep shot here. For, and that's caught inside the 35. 33 yards that time. Pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. Now some movement before the snap. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating? The guys who just gave up that play. On second down, Giles. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. On third and long, it's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. This from 54 yards away. And that will wind up just short. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Murray being chased out left. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Flush down right. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. One thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. On first and ten, here's Murray escaping the pressure right. Murray, and now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. Holding defense. They go play action here on first down. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. On second down now. 
Giles, and he still has yet to get on track in this first half. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Von Miller. You call plenty of games in your career. Do you believe in momentum, man? I do, and I think we're seeing it right here. Oh, there's no doubt about it. The run that he's been on. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Snap comes to Murray at one. Rolling to his right. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 34. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. First down, Murray. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fade. Out to his left. Throw left side complete. That's Greer. From the red zone, here's our trophy winner, Murray. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third down and 12. From the gun on third down, Murray. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And now out is the Cardinal field goal team here. And his kick here is good. They always say, but miss an extra point. That's the one that bothers me more. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. On first down, Mahomes. Holmes has got it complete. Partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The Chiefs now are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. After the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. And in week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And a penalty flag is down to the backfield as they finally bring him to the turf. But I'm not sure this is going to stand. Hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes looking for the end zone. Now it's Mahomes again. It's Hill, complete. And Butker able to put this one through. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. To throw is Murray. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. So we've come upon halftime here in Week 17. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome into our EA Sports Halftime Report, a busy final day of the regular season, so let's get to it. We'll start our tour out in the City of Angels, Los Angeles. And the Panthers are out in front as they play the second quarter. Cam Newton with a couple of touchdown passes there. From there, we head east to Minnesota to check on the Vikings at home 
at U.S. Bank Stadium, and they trail that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, four touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to Silicon Valley to check on the 49ers at home at Levi Stadium. And they've got the lead in their matchup with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Two touchdown passes there for Jimmy Garoppolo. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it. And oh, it caught up. But it looks like the Chiefs are going to get it back. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the... Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. It's ha-ha Clinton Dix with a pick. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Starting the drive with Snell. And just no chance of turning the corner. Here's Snell yet again. And he'll be tackled just past the 35. From the gun on third down. Murray looking left side and he's got a man. That's Morton. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield. Now a play fake here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to keep it here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A run for Snell. From the 35 on second down, Murray, his throw incomplete. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Throwing now is Murray. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. Don't drop it there. You just expect him to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them special. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. That's complete to Brent. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. He'll go as a gain of ten and a Kansas City first down. Mahomes now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Now on second and 13, Mahomes. And that going to be incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Britt's got it, complete. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Offense. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 21. Now Snell. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Now Murray off play action. And an alley to run. So they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tuck it in run time, and he picks up a first down. They'll run on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. That's caught over the middle by Seals Jones. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Murray going to try to throw on third down. 
And that is incomplete. They might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Oh, now Murray has it stripped, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. Mahomes now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. Mahomes to throw on third and one. It's caught. Reception by Holmes. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And this is going to be nowhere close. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. On first down, Snell. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? First seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a Nice first down. They'll run on first down. Snell. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Holding offense. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. I think you'd have to say defensively, these guys are doing their job pretty well, right? Yeah, we talked about them holding them under 20 points, right, on defense. And the pressure gets to him again. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. Trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Well, we'll see what his offense can do. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This is third and four. He's going to get his man out of the backfield. Complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Thomas has got it, complete. Now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Mahomes now on first down. Oh, he stays up. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Plus of 12 that time. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Holmes has got it complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. Yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Murray going to throw. Sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. 
eluding the pressure right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that'll wind up incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Murray again, second and 10. Throwing right, and that's complete. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Throwing is Murray on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage that time by Deontay Thompson. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And I hate to point to that missed field goal from their last drive, but you look at the scoreboard, they would be in the lead if they had that three. Well, no doubt those points or those missed points do loom large. Almost like my time in school, I was always begging my teachers for a makeup exam. Here's their opportunity now to put those points on the board. And every point becoming more vital here in the second half. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. To throw, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. He's back to throw. Like so many others, this goes for a first down. Back to throw. Gets this one to Hill. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And that one covered beautifully. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. and really could have turned this one upside down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 15-13, a minute 15 remaining. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Morton. Got out of bounds. They have no timeouts. And they knew that before the play even began. Still executed it. How many times have we seen it happen where you know it, get a guy still looking for a timeout or trying to stay in bounds. He got it done. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movements, level in everything he does, and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Back to throw. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And this play goes nowhere. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. Mahomes to throw. They complete it to Hill. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. Here's Murray. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. Well, we 
were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So for Kansas City, the win means they'll finish in double digits at 10 and 6. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better than average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for Arizona, this was basically just an exhibition game for them as they'd already clinched home field advantage. And the playoffs will run through their house as they'll get the week off and get set to host a divisional round game in two weeks' time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.